Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daniel, and if you want to learn how to properly lose weight fast in a way that is sustainable, easy, personalized, and that doesn't feel like a diet, then you've come to the right place. So I want to tell you a quote, and that quote is, it's not about having the time, it's about making the time. And that quote is going to be very central, it's going to be very vital to today's topic. So essentially today's video is based on an email that I got from a client, which is, you know, she's asking me about how can I make, how can I meal prep? I don't have the time to meal prep. And it seems that, you know, in order to be successful with weight loss, you know, you have to be meal prepping. Now, there's some truth to that, but I think that the, the, the truth is, is a little bit exaggerated and we're going to cover all those things. So if you're currently struggling with, uh, you know, the issue of like, how can I meal prep? How can I optimize that? Or how can I do it properly? Or more importantly, I don't have the time or I don't like to cook. You know, how can we make this work for you so that, so that you can see the results that you want? So, you know, the most important thing when it, when it, comes, to, uh, when it comes to meal prepping is that people have the wrong idea of what meal prepping should be. When we think of meal prepping, we think of, you know, we think of bodybuilders, we think of, you know, you know, putting all your meals in Tupperware eating six times a day, you know, spending two hours in the kitchen, that sort of thing. Now, that can be helpful in a way, <clears throat> but if you're trying to lose weight, you don't necessarily have to do that. There are shortcuts to that. We can take some of the main principles of that and apply them to your own life. So the very first thing that you got to keep in mind is, like the quote says, you have to make the time. Now, I know there's always going to be a thousand excuses for, you know, why I can't do this, I can't do that, but you have to make the time. So the very first thing that I would ask you is, is this goal important to you? Is this goal worth it to you for you to put 30 minutes aside every three days, not every day, every three days or one hour a week to meal prep? And I'm going to explain to you what meal prepping uh, is here in just a second, but can you make the time? Is this important? Because if you can't make the time, then you're not going to reach your goal. Now, I want you to consider this. Um, before the 1950s, the obesity rate in America was only 10%. Once they started introducing, you know, uh, you know, frozen foods and, you know, the fast food revolution just came along, that, you know, uh, the, the obese population went from 10% to 40%. Now, I'm not saying that's the main cause that frozen foods, you know, cause that, but there, there, there is some truth in there. Because now we live in, a, in an era where you can just, you know, click a button and then you get your food. So what I'm saying is you have to make the time to spend, you know, to spend some time in the kitchen and be familiar with your kitchen and prepare your foods. Because if you don't, if you're always relying on eating out, if you're always relying on this, uh, unless you have the money to, you know, like get like a, you know, hire a meal prepping service, and it's going to be hard. So you do have to make the time. So the very first thing I need to say is, if, if I burst your bubbles, you have to make the time and we're going to optimize that time. So now the second thing is meal prepping. You don't have to prepare all your meals at once. So here's what I mean. Let's say that you have one hour a week where you meal prep. The main thing that you want to focus on during that hour is preparing your vegetables because vegetables are essential for weight loss. So you want to spend about 20 to 30 minutes just chopping, you know, five to six different vegetables for that week. Okay. So for example, you can, you know, if you like onions, you like zucchini, you like tomatoes, or you're going to do like a ratatouille uh, dish, then get all those vegetables ready and have them ready in a Tupperware in the fridge. It doesn't mean you have to cook, you know, like the ratatouille dish right there, but you just have all the vegetables ready. So spend 20 to 30 minutes just getting all the vegetables ready. Step number two is spend the other half of that meal prepping session getting, you know, your proteins ready for the week. Now, that doesn't mean that you cook the meats. It doesn't mean that you get all your chicken breasts or your ground beef patties and you cook them, but you can season them and have them ready. So what that's going to do for you is when you come home from a long day or in the morning when you wake up as you're getting ready, you can just throw all those vegetables or all the meat that you have and you can, you know, bake them, make the chicken fajitas, make, you know, meatballs, whatever you want to do because they're already prepared, they're already ready. Now, the other thing that you want to make sure that you're doing is every time that you cook, and this is a big one that a lot of people miss, every time that you cook, always cook double or triple of what you're, of what you're going to be cooking for that moment. Because what that's going to do for you is that's going to give you leftovers. And if you have leftovers when you get home, like let's say that you, you've had a long day you know, from work and you know, you're just hungry, you want to go home and eat. If you don't have those leftovers, it's going to be a lot easier to say, shit, well, I just want to go to you know, McDonald's, Wendy's and get something to eat because I just want something quick. But it's going to be a lot easier if you say, oh, you know what, I have a, you know, a little bit of that extra you know, uh, green chili, ground turkey, green bean stir fry that I made. So I'll just have that when I get home. So it's very important that every time that you cook, that you cook extra. Uh, so this is where you, know, you don't have to cook every single meal that you're eating, 
but you know always cook double or triple and then have your proteins and and your vegetables you know semi ready already marinated already seasoned which brings me to another small point which is you have to be a little bit creative you have to be curious you know don't just have don't just have chicken chicken and, and broccoli ready look for different recipes online like what else could you do with chicken maybe you could do like a curry chicken maybe you could do like a buffalo chicken all things that are gonna be you know still low calorie very flavorful and change the vegetables every week change your protein sources every week don't just have chicken and tilapia every single week or if you do have it differently don't just do tilapia and zucchini do me like for example with tilapia you could do ceviche with the shrimp which is a very tasty dish um, with the chicken you can do fajitas you can do stuffed you know marinara uh, you know chicken breast there's so many things you can do so so play around with the meats and with with the vegetables that you have at home so it all comes down to being a little bit creative you know having you know being a little bit curious you know wanting to add taste you know to your kitchen so don't be afraid to add spices condiments and herbs and you know my final tip which is kind of like a bonus is use that hour as also as an entertainment hour so Instead of just thinking of that meal prepping hour as, oh, this is me preparing meals, use that hour to catch up on your favorite Netflix show, on your favorite Hulu show. Have that playing in the background or listen to a podcast. If you're a student, you know, listen to a lecture, you know, something that's going to enrich what you're currently doing. It doesn't just have to be an hour that's wasted. And, you know, think about all the time, you know, whatever your age is, you know, think about all the time that you spend on social media. Think about all the time you spend on TikTok, on Instagram. Um, YouTube for now is doesn't count because this is you're learning but think about all the time that you spend on you know on other social media sites where you're looking at nonsense all that time could be used that that accumulated could be your one hour so if you if you tell me I don't have the time the first thing I would ask you is how much time are you wasting uh, you know doing things that are not enriching your life and in this case getting to your ideal you know body image to your ideal health so keep those things in mind when you're meal prepping so to summarize real quick is have your vegetables you know spend 20 to 30 minutes you know preparing your vegetables 20 to 30 minutes you know proteins play with different proteins have those ready and then when you cook always do you know double or triple so that you can have leftovers and you know the additional bonus is have something in the background that is going to enrich or enhance uh, you know your life it could be entertainment or it could be you know podcast hour or, or you know whatever it is so you don't think of that one hour as meal prepping hour so you could think of it as you know I'm preparing foods while I do this alright so hopefully you guys found that video helpful on meal prepping uh, if you did make sure that you like the video if you have any uh, any questions or comments on you know meal prepping like what your struggles are make sure that you leave it in the comments I'd love to answer it and I'd love to hear from you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one if you uh, if you like the content make sure that you subscribe because there's more videos like this coming up